Hi everyone, Eric Gamespace here, and as you can see, today we've got the PD200X from Malino. This is a brand new dynamic USB XLR microphone uh, from Milano that's going to be targeted towards podcasts and voice recording mainly. And although we'll get into the specifics of why that is as we go through this video and into a review, what we're going to do is we're going to take an unboxing and first look at what's inside here and the including mic stand. So let's get this out of the way and start to tear into it. As you can see, and with most Moano branded boxes, it comes in the whole yellow and black livery that you usually expect from this brand. If you've seen any of our other unboxings, you'll have noticed that it's pretty consistent. It's a little less padding and a little more cardboard than previously. Um, if you take a look at our other reviews, you'll have noticed that it comes in a slightly more imposing box and some of its other formats. However, this one, that means there's a little less to throw in the bin and a little more to recycle. Straight off the top, obviously padding is reasonable. Um, we've got our user manual, which comes in English, uh, German, I almost said Dutch, German. Uh, and that looks like uh, Japanese and Korean, possibly. Anyway. You can go through that and it's in full color, which is pretty nice. Um, along with, we even have an expected frequency response rate, which we'll get into in a review. Getting straight into the box itself, pretty easy to get this out. This is the microphone itself. So as we can see, it comes with a pop guard right on here. Explain why that is. And that even comes with a little plastic connector there. So replacing it might be questionable if you wanted to have your own replacement. Um, unlike previous versions, it looks like the shock mount that it comes on here is not going to fall apart in my hands, which is obviously fantastic. As great as Moana have been as a brand, um, one of our previous mics did suffer from some pretty shoddy threading on this particular joint on its shock mount. Um, however, it does come with a shock mount, which means that you're going to avoid getting any undue bumps when you are podcasting. Um, there is also a... Feels like a metal casing that houses. And I think that might be... One moment. Yep, that's a metal bottom rather than a plastic bottom, which I expected. On the bottom here, while we're at it, there is your XLR connector, um, which this does come with an XLR cable in the package, but it appears uh, it was separate when we got sent it, but there is an XLR cable in there. Um, there's also a USB-C connector, and it looks like this is a USB-C to USB-A connector here, so that's pretty reasonable length. Uh, I think that's probably going to be like one to one and a half, probably one and a half meters maybe on that. Um, I'll unravel that and see you later. As well as our, that looks like a lighting button and a headphone jack for monitoring the input into the device. Turning it over, um, again we've got some very pretty basic branding um, which is nice to see that it's not too over the top. Um, it looks like we are going to have a, an RGB ring here as well as a nice clicky volume and gain control. It looks like that's going to function both for the microphone gain and for the monitoring um, volume as well. We got a separate mute button, which is great. I did love the capacitive mute button on some of the other models, but Basically having it there right front and centre, especially if you're podcasting, is going to be really useful. Um, again, we've got another RGB ring around here, and RGB is going to be one of the main features of this. Um, and then we have got the integrated pop guard. Again, I'm assuming the plastic bottom for this is so that it sits on top of the RGB light um, and doesn't damage it because this RGB ring does look like it's plastic. Underneath this mesh metal cable, we do have a 
dynamic capsule microphone, which in performance terms probably means that you're going to find that it picks up less background noise. And that's technically not how these work in that sense compared to, say, a condenser capsule. Um, it's just that a dynamic capsule is going to be uh, less prone to blowing out when you've got your p and your pop shows, so or plosives, they're called. So that means you're going to go ahead, you're going to pop that on here, and between that and the nature of your dynamic capsule mic, it's going to be really good for being up close, the close work for podcasting. Um, again, if you're a Twitch streamer, you've got that option too, but it certainly might not be your first choice if you're going to go ahead and have things like a group um, of people playing instruments. But if you are going to be podcasting, um, at the bottom here, we've got a standard screw thread, um, which again, we will pop some more details on in the review. All in, it's a well-built, compact microphone for Malono once again. Uh, however, just remember that if you are going to be using this or buying it, check out our review because you will want to know uh, how you're going to use that, whether you're going to connect it via XLR um, to an interface or whether you're going to go straight into your computer or laptop via a USB-C cable. I'm going to pop this to one side right now and I'm not going to throw this out the way. Notice I haven't actually thrown the setup instructions out the way yet. I'm going to take a quick look at the microphone boom arm. Now this isn't a particularly big boom arm. The fact that I can get it on camera here pretty much says a lot about it. And it doesn't feel overly weighty either. However, if you don't have one already, then it certainly is pretty enticing to get that bundled in with the rest of the microphone. It comes reasonably well packed. I'm not massively impressed by it, but you know, it definitely seems like it's going to sit on the budget end of that. Um, bubble wrap never really impresses me when it comes to recycling, so it is what it is. And included, we've got a standard mic fitting, which isn't going to do you a whole lot of good if you're using the PD200X, but there you go. You've got a connector for putting it on the table. And then you have this itself. It is, once again, not the sturdiest one that I've seen, but it will certainly do the job. It's all metal. It's got the sort of articulation points you would expect. One here, one here, and then one up the end here. So you've got all three of those. Uh, other than that, it's relatively unremarkable. But then again, do you really want a microphone arm to be taken over your desk. You really want it to be able to do the job. And this, well, it will certainly do the job. How the PDX200 does the job, however, you'll have to check out our Game Space review when we get that out. And uh, hopefully, it will impress us. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been the Moano PDX200 unboxing and first look. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and light up our desk. Check over the full review at GameSpace.